The unmistakable sound of a hungry mosquito looking for human blood. It's a sound that scares Adam Ajalo. Here, a mosquito bite doesn't just itch, it can kill, infecting villagers with malaria. The virus's intense fever, aches, nausea, and diarrhea killed half a million people last year globally. They were mostly young children of similar age to Jalo's daughter Hassana in sub-Saharan Africa. They always seem to manage to get in the house. It's a question of time. One of us will get malaria. For us, malaria is a constant battle against mosquitoes. When Hassana contracted malaria last year, she was given a drug called Coartem. New research suggests the malaria parasite is growing resistant to this drug. There's no vaccine against the disease. International agencies are spending billions of dollars distributing insecticide-treated mosquito nets and spraying homes. Still, 212 million people were infected in 2016. Now, Gambian and British researchers say building better homes could be a solution. Instead of a thatched roof, there's a tin one, leaving no space for mosquitoes to breed. Nets have been installed and windows strategically placed to allow a cross breeze to keep the rooms cool. The idea is to make these home mosquito-free without having to use insecticide. It's a very cunning disease. I believe we are inventing the ways of doing the housing interventions cheaper and easier, perhaps. Jallo and 800 other volunteers are taking part in this experiment to see if home design can stop malaria infection. Scientists are installing a device to count how many mosquitoes have made it inside the homes. This research is part of a push for African-led science against the disease here at the Medical Research Council in Banjul. Some scientists are looking at how dogs can smell malaria on people's sweat. Others are trying to figure out why some have malaria but don't get sick. This center proves that science doesn't always need expensive tools but rather creative thinking from people on the ground. Gambia is one of the most densely populated countries in sub-Saharan Africa. Researchers believe that better homes are essential to preventing tropical diseases, not just malaria, but Zika or yellow fever, and those yet to be discovered. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Sara Dahaba, Base, Gambia.